the suspect in an April homicide here has been identified in court records as a teenage suspected gang member who allegedly vowed revenge after he was stabbed numerous times in an attempted murder last year. Concord Anthony Taylor's Moctezuma, 17, has been charged in juvenile court with murdering 30-year-old Salvador Ochoa in an April 16 shooting. Police linked the slaying to a long-time gang rivalry, describing Ochoa as a long-time Sor Enyo member and Tales Moctezuma as an Ortenyo who'd been a suspect in other gang-related violence. Since Ochoa was killed, Concord police said they saw an uptick of gang fights at Gnesho Valley High School, where Tales Moctezuma had been allegedly involved in an after-school fight just a month before the homicide. Just one week after the homicide, an alleged Norten Yo was arrested at the school in possession of a pistol, and his friend was shot and wounded by suspected Soren Yo at Cambridge Park in Concord after arranging to purchase a gun from them. The Norten Yo and Soren Yo rivalry dates back decades. The Norten Yo gang is based in Northern California and claims Contra Costa County as a stronghold while the Sur and Yo gang is a subsidiary of the Los Angeles-based Mexican Mafia, but has a presence in Bay Point, Richmond, Brentwood, and Concord. Ochoa was shot and killed at the corner of Meadow Lane and Johnson Drive while he was riding a bicycle in the city's Monument Corridor neighborhood. It is the same area that was the subject of a massive 2020 federal and state investigation targeting the Sur and Yo in Concord which included murder charges for homicides in Concord and Antioch. The investigation was dubbed Operation Boulevard Blues, a reference to both the gang's territory on Monument and the color it uses as a symbol. In court records, police describe Ochoa as a well-known gang member with a history of law enforcement contacts. But his family described him as a lover, not a fighter to television station KTVU. A former girlfriend told the station that he would always have a smile on his face. He was just a good person. He left behind a nine-year-old daughter. Tales Moctezuma was identified as a suspect and arrested within one day, after police noticed a blue Honda registered to his mother driving up to and leaving the area of the shooting. When he was detained in a high-risk traffic stop on April 17, authorities found a pistol and shell casings inside the car. The gun has since been linked to three other non-fatal shootings, including one in Concord where someone drove by the victims, yelled out a gang taunt, and fired multiple times, but didn't strike anyone, police say. According to authorities, Tales Moctezuma's mother was trying to get a handle on her son's behavior, and had at least twice contacted law enforcement. In 2021, she reported him as a missing person telling authorities he ran away after she confronted him about a pistol she'd found under a sofa. A month before the homicide, she called police about a bag of ammunition she found in his room. In May 2021, a week after Tales Moctezuma was reported missing, he was stabbed several times by suspected Soreno. When police showed up to interview him at a hospital, he refused to provide details. Detectives noticed he was still wearing a Red Cross necklace around his neck, which they allege is a common symbol among Nortnos, according to court records. After surviving the stabbing, Tales Moctezuma had conversations on his Instagram about wanting to get back at the Sureño, according to police. Those Instagram messages were obtained by police in an earlier, unrelated homicide investigation. One month before Ochoa was killed, a Bay Point man was shot in the leg with the same firearm, though police haven't publicly identified suspects in that shooting. In 2021, the same gun was one of three used to shoot up the Bay Point man's home, but no one was struck by gunfire in that incident, authorities say. 